Zoology is really just the, the study of, of animal life and all its forms, so you can think of things like insects all the way up to, to whales and even extinct forms of life like dinosaurs and, and looking at the differences between these major kind of groups of organisms of life on Earth and focusing on, on, on animal life per se. So it's all the facets of animal life as well, whether it's their, their genetics, their behaviour, their conservation, all those facets kind of come into play. So there's a huge scale and range of of kind of angles that you can take when you're approaching the, the subject of, of zoology. If you consider like biology as the over, just the study of, of life, so zoology then focuses just specifically on, on animal life. I study ornithology, so you get an understanding of bird diversity, but then there are people who study insects, there are people who study mammals, like the deer in the Phoenix Park, there are people who study uh, the genetics, there are people who have kind of uh, the computational understanding of like DNA and comparing across species. I think that people should study um, zoology at UCD because we have such uh, a wide diversity of, of research interests, of, of approaches that people take to looking at the different types of animals. I chose to study zoology at UCD and UCD specifically because of the flexibility because you can really just make your degree your own. There's so many options even within the different degree areas. Um, and then zoology specifically because of the quality of the lectures. And also there's just so many opportunities to travel with the degree. There was so much kind of hands-on experience that you could get. We went to Spain, we went to Costa Rica, we go to the coast a lot to look at species out in the coast. So yeah, I'm a real hands-on learner. So zoology appealed to me in that. So if you're studying zoology, I mean, you need to see animals in their, their natural setting. So I think it's all well and good, listen to lectures and uh, looking at the creatures on, on screen, if you have like interesting documentaries, but nothing beats going out and seeing an animal in the wild. We really push to have uh, many field trips throughout the, the degree programme if you are specialised in zoology. So we have ones that can take place uh, in and around Ireland. And so we'll do marine trips, we will do ornithology bird watching trips, and um, just to give people a sense of the, the Irish biodiversity, the Irish diversity of animal life within the country. But then within in third year, we also have the opportunity for students to go to the south of Spain, where they'll spend um, a week looking at the diversity of, of animal life over there. Uh, when I came in in first year, I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to do. I just knew that I wanted to do something within science. And then just in my second year, I found the zoology lecturers the easiest to really engage with. They were really, really passionate about their areas and I found myself becoming more and more passionate about it as well. We have a lot of fun as a group in zoology. Um, the course is really, really tight knit now because you go on so many trips together. You can really build those bonds with each other, but also with your lecturers. We'd be really, really close with our lecturers now, especially reaching fourth year you'd know them really, really, really well. We really had to start off in first year with kind of considerations of the animal kingdom. So this diversity of life that I mentioned. So you're trying to say like, what constitutes an animal? What makes an animal different from say a bacteria or a virus or even a plant or a fungus? What is something that's distinct about being an animal? And so a lot of our early courses say in the first and second year tend to separate out what makes these groups distinct. And then as you move into third year, and um, some of the, the field trips kick in. So we have the Spanish field trip uh, at that point. So you're getting really exposure to that part of the world. And then fourth year, we have uh, the research projects. So you'll work with a lecturer or professor in, in our, our school uh, on an area of, that's of interest to you. So my fourth year research project is actually like a population genetics study. So I'm working at the moment with bees. So I'm studying the DNA of bees all across Ireland to try and determine how well they're going to be able to adapt to potential climate change scenarios and such. So it's a lot of lab work, a lot of pipetting and extracting DNA, and then a lot of computer analysis as well. So I'll almost be coming out of my project qualified as a, like a computer scientist and a data analyst, as well as a zoologist and a geneticist and all that. I would definitely say the world needs more zoologists in order to kind of prevent um, animal loss, animal diverse, uh, diversity uh, declines and arrest these changes um, so we can intervene and kind of make it or keep uh, the world as kind of green as possible or as alive as possible. You'll be going on placements and doing labs and practicals and things and it all just feels like 
a day out because you're like going to the coast and looking at seaweed or you're in the lab looking down the microscope at these incredible organisms. So even when you're working, it still kind of feels like play. Yeah, being a zoology student's a lot of fun. <laughs>